As both the men's and women's basketball seasons wrapped up last week, marking the end of winter sports, one K-State club, club sport is able to participate year-round. At the Abilene Municipal Airport, there will be no crowds, but the excitement will be present as members get the opportunity to descend from 10,000 feet above. David McCune is the president of the Skydive Club at K-State and became interested in the sport in high school. Now, he is an avid jumper who tries to go every weekend. Each time, it's the feeling that brings him back. It's fun. I mean, there's nothing like it. There's a thrill of adrenaline. Um, getting up into the plane and then jumping out with your friends is pretty amazing. When the time arrives, group members will board the Cessna 182 and have the choice on what type of jump they can complete. Typically, first-time jumpers uh, doing the solo static line course, they're going to be jumping from 3,500 feet their first time, and you kind of work up incrementally uh, as you move along the course uh, up by like 1,000 feet at a time. Instructor Jesse Magana has completed 4,100 jumps over 34 years, but he says that prior to taking the runway in their Cessna 182, the proper techniques need to be learned. When we have our class, we it's, it's more than just giving you the skills to make a skydive. We're, we're basically giving you, it, it truly is a class where we're teaching you about skydiving. Student jumper Thomas Miller is relatively new to the club, but he feels safe after the extensive hours of teaching that go on. It is a lot safer than they make it sound. You know, jumping out of a plane isn't as dangerous as you know, it sounds. There's a lot of safety precautions. The equipment has been, you know, forged throughout decades to be the safest they can be. For McCune, he has completed 46 jumps, but he has ambitious plans to double that number come summer. The club is for not only students, but members of the community as well. For new jumpers, $170 covers the instruction class plus the first jump, and there are plans available if one chooses to do so. After the 2020 NCAA tournament was canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic, this year's tournament is set to begin tonight with play ups in Indianapolis. The first game between Texas Southern and Mount St. Mary's will tip off at 4.10 p.m. All the action throughout the tournament can be found on CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV. The K-State baseball team swept Northern Illinois and split with Rice last weekend in Houston, Texas. On Friday night, outfielder Dylan Phillips led the way in the bottom of the ninth with a two-run single, two stolen bases, and beat the throw home on the ground ball to give the Wildcats a walk-off 4-3 victory. Now 11-5, the team is... Back on the diamond this weekend for a three-game series against New Mexico at Toynton Family Stadium. That's all we have for sports this week. Back to you at the desk.